Hello and welcome. My name is Merely Adequate, and Bebop and I are so glad that you could join us today. In the last episode, I left a few things undone, so I thought we would clear them up real quick. Firstly, I finally got enough honeycomb to beautify all my copper, and doesn't it look great? I know oxidized copper really does have a use, and it looks beautiful, but man, this is exactly what I wanted it to look like in here, and I love it. Secondly, if you love this beekeeper suit as much as I did, I wanted you to know that it's made by Vulpines, and I will leave a link below, uh, and you can find him on Skindex, and hopefully let him know how much you enjoyed it. The third thing I wanted to show you is what I did with the eighth and final extension for my base. I ended up with a ton of dirt and grass and cobble that normally I would keep, but it was using up all of my shulkers. So I decided to make a trash can, <laughs> the largest trash can I'd ever made. And you can see all my stuff just popping out there in the top and disposing itself in the lava. I think it worked out beautifully. And finally, I realized that I kind of rushed through this build and didn't really explain exactly what it does. So let me show you. We need to keep a close track of the temperature of the water and the lava. So that's what this is doing. Um, they're taking readings from the water and over here likewise in the lava. And uh, they're monitoring it and sending the signal down to the control room so that we can keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't get out of control. Uh, here we have this track running, uh, creating energy to, provi to provide the power for these devices and uh, to keep them running. Uh, as you see, they're, uh, they run in the night just fine with the solar devices uh, that they've been capturing all day. But during the day, we need it to run too, so that's what those do. Over here, um, we have uh, some energy exchange. These are exhaust vents. If things do start to get out of control, we're able to vent the heat out through here and keep things from blowing up. And lastly, we have the pipes that are sending the steam um, from this area all the way into the crystalline device that is down there. And that's how all this works. It seems very complicated, but I promise you, it's nothing. Well, in the last episode, we fired up Bebop's device, and it had some, uh, well, interesting results. <laughs> but I could tell from Bebop's reaction that that's exactly what he meant for it to do. So I'm going to help him finish this. If you remember in the blueprints, we have some very tall vertical additions we need to add. And I believe what that's going to do is focus the beam and give us the full power to finally realize Bebop's vision and whatever he needs this thing for. So let's do a time lapse and hopefully get it finished and see the final result.
Well, Bebop, it's finally done. Oh, man. All those blueprints, all those resources, all that time, and it's done. I can tell it's done because all your friends have come to join us. I think it's time to turn it on for the final time and actually see what this thing does. What do you think, Bebop? Yeah? Okay. Man, this is going to be amazing. I'm still not positive like what the point is of all this, but I am looking forward to seeing what it does. Okay, you're going to help me, Bebop? All right. I think all we got to do is flick a button here, a button here change the state of this and this, flip a switch, and finally, the big switch here. Boom. That is it. All right, should we go up top and see how it's working? There it is, Bebop. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. I still can't believe we actually built this thing. See that? Oh, that goes. Oh! I think I finally know what this device does. Bebop, are you and your friends from another place? Maybe, maybe another dimension? Maybe one that's not the Nether or the End? Okay. I think I finally understand. And you're all going back home. Oh, well I'm glad we were able to make the device work correctly. I'd hate to be away from home. I'm glad we were able to get this together and make it work. Well, all right, Bebop. I, I guess it's time for you to go. All your friends have left. I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm gonna miss you, buddy. But they've all gone, and, and it's now your turn. So, go ahead. Hey. It's okay. Go ahead, Bebop. You're the last one. Go ahead. Hey. Hey. Well, I don't know how much longer the machine's gonna last, Bebop. <laughs> you Are you really gonna stay? Are you really going to stay with me? <coughs> Bebop! Really? Oh my goodness! Bebop, I'm so excited! Oh, Bebop, you've made me so happy! I, I, I have so many things that I want to do with you now that this is over! I, I have adventures to go on and places to see and things to do! Oh, Bebop, I'm so excited! Oh, Bebop, I can't believe you did this! Are you sure you won't miss your friends? <coughs> well, of course you're going to miss them, but... You, you're my best friend, Bebop, and, and, and I hope I am yours too. <coughs> oh, Bebop, I'm so excited. Well, that turned out way different than I expected. I, I can't believe that this whole machine was an interdimensional portal-making device. Who would have thought? <laughs> and, and Bebop and his friends were from another dimension? And best of all, Bebop chose to stay. Can you believe it? Oh man, I am so excited. It's, it's more than I could have hoped for. We made this amazing build. We had lots of good times. I found a best friend. And it's just, it just was so great. And I've had so much fun this season with all that we have done and all that Bebop has shown me and all that we've made together. I think we should take a moment to look at the builds that we have made and remember some of the times that we have. What do you think? What do you think, Bebop? Should we do that? Let's check it out.
<laughs> well, uh, <laughs> whew, looking at all that just made me tired. <laughs> that, was a, that was a lot of work. Uh, but you know what? Seeing all that reminded me of one more adequate advice. For those of you interested in starting your own YouTube channel, I just have to say, what are you, crazy? Get out there, go outside, go meet people, do anything other than this, please, I'm begging you, go now! Okay, for those of you still here, I'm just kidding. It's like the most fun ever. Before we bid farewell to this world forever, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you. You know, a lot of work goes into making this world, and I probably would do it even if nobody else watched it, but for those of you who watched, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the time that you spent in watching my videos and the comments that you've left me and all the appreciation that you've shown to me for all the work that I have done. I wanna give right back to you for sticking with me and subscribing and liking and being a part of this channel. I really appreciate you all, and I, I gotta tell you, you're the reason why I think I'm gonna continue doing it. So look forward to more posts from me. This is not the end, this is just the end for right now. <laughs> so let's gather our stuff and say goodbye to the world. Okay, Bebop, we're all packed up and ready to go. Are you excited? Let's see, uh, we've got uh, tools and weapons and armor. I got meat for you and bread for me. Let's see, a saddle and, and a boat for transportation. Of course we have a bed. And the most important things, bone meal. One of the most important things in the game as far as I'm concerned. We've got our spyglass since we're adventuring. And we're taking our riches with us. We've got five golden apples and a bunch of diamonds and emeralds to trade whenever we need them. Oh, oh, you're ready to go? Okay, hold on, I think I need a pickaxe out of here. All right, take this with us. Okay, are you, are you ready to go? All right, well, let's go. Hey, Peebop, you know what I wanna do now? Can we build another egg cannon? That was super fun. What? Why don't you wanna build another one? Oh. Okay, well, we don't have to. I just really love egg cannons.